than the southern sky, introduced in the 1750s by Nicolas Louis de Lacaille and counted among the 88 modern constellations. Its name means chisel in Latin and it was formerly known as Chilum Sculptorium, it is a rare word, unrelated to the far more common Latin Chilum, meaning sky, heaven, atmosphere. It is the eighth smallest constellation, and subtends a solid angle of around zero. 038 steradians, just less than that of Corona Australis. Due to its small size and location away from the plain of the Milky Way, Chilum is a rather barren constellation, with few objects of interest. The constellation's brightest star, Alpha Chile, is only of magnitude 4. 45, and only one other star, Gamma 1 Chile, is brighter than magnitude 5. Other notable objects in Chilum are RR Chile, a binary star with one known planet approximately 20. 13 parsecs away, X Chile, a delta scuti variable that forms an optical double with Gamma 1 Chile, and HE 0450-2958, a safer galaxy that at first appeared as just a jet, with no host galaxy visible. Chilum was incepted as one of 14 southern constellations in the 18th century by Nicolas Louis de Lacaille, a French astronomer and celebrator of the Age of Enlightenment. It retains its name Buren among French speakers, Latinized in his catalogue of 1763 as Chilum Sculpturus. Seen as Cella Sculpturus in the lower right of this 1825 star chart from Urania's mirror Francis Bailey shortened this name to Chilum, as suggested by John Herschel. In Lacaille's original chart, it was shown as a pair of engraver's tools, a standard Buren and more specific shape forming echope tied by a ribbon, but came to be ascribed a simple chisel. Johann Ellert Bode stated the name as plural with a singular possessor, Kalis Scalpturus, in German Grabstichel, but this did not stick. Chilum is bordered by Dorado and Pictor to the south, Horologium and Eridanus to the east, Lepus to the north and Columba to the west. Covering only 125 square degrees, it ranks 81st of the 88 modern constellations in size. Its main asterism consists of four stars, and 20 stars in total are brighter than magnitude 6. 5. The constellation's boundaries, as set by Belgian astronomer Eugène Delporte in 1930, are a 12-sided polygon. In the equatorial coordinate system, the right ascension coordinates of these borders lie between 04H19. 5 meters and 05H05. 1 meter and declinations of minus 27. 02 degrees to minus 48. 74 degrees. The International Astronomical Union adopted the three-letter abbreviation CAE for the constellation in 1922. Its main stars are visible in favorable conditions and with a clear southern horizon, for part of the year as far as about the 41st parallel north these stars avoid. Being engulfed by daylight for some of every day to viewers in mid and well-inhabited higher latitudes of the southern hemisphere. Chilum shares with Taurus, Eridanus and Orion midnight culmination in December resulting in this fact. In winter the constellation can be observed sufficiently inset from the horizons during its rising before dawn and or setting after dusk as it culminates then at around midday, well above the sun. In South Africa, Argentina, their subtropical neighboring areas and some of Australia in high June the key stars may be traced before dawn in the east, near the equator the stars lose night potential. In May to June, they ill compete with the sun in northern tropics and subtropics from late February to mid-September with March being unfavorable as to post-sunset due to the light of the Milky Way. Chilum is a faint constellation, it has no star brighter than magnitude 4 and only two stars brighter than magnitude 5. Lakai gave six stars Bayer designations, labeling them Alpha to Zeta in 1756, but emitted Epsilon and designated two adjacent stars as Gamma. Boat extended the designations to Rho for other stars, but most of these have fallen out of use. Chilum is too far south for any of its stars to bear Flamsteed designations. The constellation Chilum as it can be seen by the naked eye. The brightest star, Alpha Chile, is a double star, containing an F-type main sequence star of magnitude 4. 45 and a red dwarf of magnitude 12. 5, 20. 17 parsecs from Earth. Beta Chile, another F-type star of magnitude 5. 05, is further away, being located 28. 67 parsecs from Earth. Unlike Alpha, Beta Chile is a subgiant star, slightly evolved from the main sequence. Delta Chile, also of magnitude 5. 05, is a B-type subgiant and is much farther from Earth, at 216 parsecs. 
Gamma 1 Kylie is a double star with a red giant primary of magnitude 4. 58 and a secondary of magnitude 8. 1. The primary is 55. 59 parsecs from Earth. The two components are difficult to resolve with small amateur telescopes because of their difference in visual magnitude and their close separation. This star system forms an optical double with the unrelated X Kylie, a delta Scuti variable located 98. 33 parsecs from Earth. These are a class of short-period pulsating stars that have been used as standard candles and as subjects to study astroseismology. X Chile itself is also a binary star, specifically a contact binary, meaning that the stars are so close that they share envelopes. The only other variable star in Chile visible to the naked eye is RV Chile, a pulsating red giant of spectral type m one i which varies between magnitude 6. 44 and 6. 56. Three other stars in Kylum are still occasionally referred to by their Bayer designations, although they are only on the edge of naked eye visibility. New Kylie is another double star, containing a white giant of magnitude 6. 07 and a star of magnitude 10. 66, with unknown spectral type. The system is approximately 52. 55 parsecs away. Lambda Kylie, at magnitude 6. 24, is much redder and farther away, being a red giant around 227 parsecs from Earth. Zeta Kylie is even fainter, being only of magnitude 6. 36. This star, located 132 parsecs away, is a K-type subgiant of spectral type K1. The other 12 naked eye stars in Kylum are not referred to by Bode's Bayer designations anymore, including RV Kylie. The Safer Galaxy HE0450-2958, an unusual active galaxy in Kylum one of the nearest stars in Kylum is the eclipsing binary star RR Kylie, at a distance of 20. 13 parsecs. This star system consists of a dim red dwarf and a white dwarf. Despite its closeness to the Earth, the system's apparent magnitude is only 14. 40 due to the faintness of its components, and thus it cannot be easily seen with amateur equipment. In 2012, the system was found to contain a giant planet, and there is evidence for a second substellar body. The system is a post-common envelope binary and is losing angular momentum over time, which will eventually cause mass transfer from the red dwarf to the white dwarf. In approximately 9 to 20 billion years, this will cause the system to become a cataclysmic variable. Due to its small size and location away from the plane of the Milky Way, Kylum is rather devoid of deep sky objects, and contains no messier objects. The only deep sky object in Kylum to receive much attention is HE0450-2958, an unusual Seyfert galaxy. Originally, the jet's host galaxy proved elusive to find, and this jet appeared to be emanating from nothing. Although it has been suggested that the object is an ejected supermassive black hole, the host is now agreed to be a small galaxy that is difficult to see due to light from the jet and a nearby starburst galaxy. The 13th magnitude planetary nebula PNG24337. One is also in the eastern regions of the constellation. It is one of only a few planetary nebulae found in the galactic halo, being 2000 plus or minus 14000 light years below the Milky Way's 1000 light year thick disk. Thanks for watching.